What did you do to become the presidential nominee of your party? Well, sometimes you just have to hawk to a and spit on that thing, you know? <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Please and thank you. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, we have some good news and we got some bad news. All right. The good news is Joe Biden is alive and well. Yes, yes, congratulations, old man. You are nice and kicking. All those rumors are dismissed, okay? You are alive and well. And to prove it, Kamala Harris was in Delaware and she was on the phone with him. Mr. President, thank you for calling in today. Over to you. Julie, if I didn't have COVID, I'd be sitting there with you, standing there with you. I know yesterday's news was surprising, and uh, it's hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. The name has changed at the top of the ticket, but the mission hasn't changed at all. And by the way, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be out there in the campaign with her, with Kamala. I'm going to be working like hell, both as a sitting president, getting legislation passed, as well as in campaigning. It is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the, on the call. And we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. And we do, everybody here does. It's mutual. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. Oh. Yeah, yep, Kamala and Biden on the phone. The bad news is, it's AI. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it was hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me. Okay, let's just go on old Eleven Labs and see if that's really all they probably used for this. So, upload, there we go. And let's see what we got. Yeah, looks like uh, they didn't even really try. Joe, are you watching? You hear this clapping? <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching. I knew it. Why would they lie about this? Who knows? Who knows? Ah, oh, my God. What a time. Anyway, but seriously, though, we have a lot of people, a lot of black men coming to support Kamala Harris as the new nominee. And, you know, a lot of people are talking about black power and all this. People like Stephen A. Smith, who believe that Donald Trump is afraid of Kamala Harris. Here's another fact. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are running scared. And Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House, he's running scared too. What's up with all of this stuff about how legal action may be taken? Donald Trump, I know, I know you ain't trying to engage in, dare I say, lawfare, are you? I know you're not trying to do that. Wasn't it you that was on stage saying that the Democrats were engaging in lawfare because they weren't confident they could beat you straight up in an election? We also got Mr. Kuhn here 
Charmelaine the Fraud, he's out here talking about he's going to support Kamala. And he always supported Kamala. Do you think you might endorse Vice President Kamala Harris should she get the nomination? Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know, I, I absolutely would endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. You know, I supported Kamala Harris in 2020 when she ran for president. You know, I was out there on the campaign trail with her. You know, um, she was the only reason that I voted for the, the Biden-Harris ticket to begin with. And, you know, we have our, you know, disagreements on air and off air. But I... I think that, you know, she is the perfect person, you know, to, 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 to be in these, to fight in these unprecedented times right now. So- yeah. Mm-hmm. It's funny, Charlemagne, whenever she's on your show, you never ask her tough questions. You always ask questions about Mr. Biden, but you never push her for nothing. I guess because she's black, right? Mm-hmm. And we have Al Sharpton also, who is, you know, Al Sharpton. <laughs> She, in fact, has held three elective offices, two statewide, and they are supporting a guy who has never held elective office. And, in fact, his his only connection to government is 34 felonies that he's going to have to report to a federal or local uh, parole officer, according on the sentence on the state charges and if he's convicted in the others. Donald Trump uh, has never been elected to anything so if they're saying that uh kamala harris is a dei uh, uh a dei appointment are they selling that a uh to elect donald trump would be to reform felons what yeah so guys especially if you're not of a melanated skin color get ready to be called a racist and a sexist you know if the Republicans, you already know that we're racist and sexist. We already know that. It's the people in her party. You have to convince them they're not sexist and racist. All right. If there's any straight men in that party, we call it Democrat Party. If there's anyone left, especially in a rusted belt, Ohio, Michigan, if you voted for Biden and right now you don't feel like voting for Kamala, it's because you're racist. Mm-hmm. Even though you voted for Barack Obama, yep, you voted for Barack Obama before, and you're a diehard Democrat, something about Kamala you don't like, and you don't want to vote for her, but guess what? You're a sexist. <laughs> something that you don't like about Kamala is she slept with a married man. What? Yeah, yeah. You like to talk about Donald Trump and his hush money, Miss Kamala. Did Willie Brown give you any hush money to keep your secret affair quiet? Huh? Should we put up some charges on you for receiving hush money from a congressman? Hmm? Is that fair game? Can we even bring that up? Because if we bring that up, guess what they going to call us? A sexist. Yes. So we can't say nothing about her past of being a uh, homewrecker. And you can't bring nothing about her being of color because she's not black. She's not like us. But she goes on BET talking about they're not like us. But these extremists, as they say, they're not like us. You're not like us, Kamala, Indian descent. And she married to a, um, Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Yeah. You're married to one of those. And you're like us. You're going to use that card, right? It's fair for you to use that card when it's convenient for you. But you go around talking about that you're not um, black. But you're also Indian American. And I'm just curious. Indeed. How do you... Describe yourself. Did, Did you, you read my it? book? <laughs> How do I describe myself? I describe myself as a proud American. That's you can't even bring up the fact that Joe Biden said that he's going to appoint a VP that is a black woman because he was 
threatened by other black women. I also remember the summer of 2020, I was a part of a large group of black women where we told Biden, hey, if your VP better be a black woman, here is the short list. You need to pick someone from this list. And fortunately, he did. And so black women are paying attention because we hear what's going on. We see what's going on and we don't like it. You bring up that fact that she's a DEI candidate. They're going to say that's racism. But they're the same people that goes around thumping their chest about DEI. Which one is it? Are you proud to be a DEI or you're not proud of being a DEI? Because we all know she is not qualified. <laughs> so, yeah, this election season, you cannot bring nothing up. You bring up our policies about the border. It's racism. You bring up her laugh and cackle. It's sexism. There's nothing to bring up. So, Donald Trump, if you're listening... <laughs> Just stick to policies. And if you ever have a debate, I hope it's on Fox. I hope she got the galls to go on Fox because Fox will be fair. Unlike, I got to take that back because Jake, Jake Tapper and, and Dana Bash was kind of fair the last debate. But if she even got the balls to go to Fox News and do this debate, don't rattle her. Just let her talk. Okay, Trump, if you're listening. Just give her enough rope. You say one or two sentence and just step back and let her blah, 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 blah. All right. Cause she is the smartest person in the room. She is a beautiful, smart black woman. They love to say that. <laughs> oh my God. What a world we live in. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you DEIs, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>